Mayu, can you explain to me what these are? The cards. They look like playing cards, but with girls. Just, they have different, different the design. Uh -huh. and you don't know I mean, they're, they're like right them. next to Pokemon and other kinds of cards. No, these are they have different <laughs> designs. Yeah. And then you don't know until you open it. And you have, you want to collect, if you're a fan, you want to collect all of the cards. Yeah. Is, it, is it like Pokemon cards though? You can like, my girl's breast size trumps yours kind of card? Like living and traveling in Asia. Second day in Hong Kong. Today is gonna be our otaku day as we want to call it. Where we're gonna go to Mong Kok which is actually our favorite place from our last trip because they have so many anime shops, figurine stores, etc. that we want to just totally geek out on it for one full day. But it's really easy to get here. You can just take the bus from Sim Set Choi like we did or take the MTR. It only cost us less than one US dollar to come up on a pretty scenic ride on one of these double-decker buses. All right guys, we're gonna head over to our first dorky place over there. Inns Point, really close from the breakfast place which is located right there. Oh, I feel like I'm entering the depths of paradise right now. <laughs> oh my god, I love it. Oh my god, look at this. Check this out. There's so many cool things. Figurines, collectibles. Mai's gonna like this. Oh, look at that. Miyazaki stuff. So we have a special submission. Mayu is trying to look for these Tomica toys, which are pretty much the Japanese Hot Wheels, and she wants the special Hong Kong taxi version for her nephew and niece. Oh my god, look at this. Gundams? Where, 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 where? Guys, so Mayu's been teasing me with this. She has the Zaku version. She gets these all the time when she goes to Japan. She has like seven of them, and they now finally made the Gundam version. I want this. But I want this original guy, but he costs a hundred and this one costs 50 and 60. Ah! The racist with Gundams too. <laughs> What's wrong with I know what's up with that. Oh my god, right behind it, I've also noticed that they have this set. I have her, I have her, I have her, and Mayu is saying that I'm missing her, who is Nico Robin. I don't really watch One Piece, but I thought those figurines were cool. I should never have bought the first one in the first place. Ugh. Check this out, guys. Even the convenience stores in here are super cool. <laughs> All sorts of limited stuff. Limited edition Okinawa Coke bottles. Japanese Sakura-looking Pepsis. Remember the tuna puzzle. So you can learn about the different parts of uh, sashimi. Honestly, I think that this place must be the most Japanese otaku place outside of maybe Akihabara. Alright guys, we've hit the jackpot. Ma, you found the blue and green Hong Kong taxi as well as the black Macau taxi as well as the buses. Seven dollars here. Ma, you's all geeking out over it. What are you gonna get, babe? I don't want to be great. I won't get all. Because last time we came, she's like, it's expensive, I'm not gonna get it. And she's been regretting it for several years now. <laughs> Mayu is now getting very methodical about this whole process and she's gonna jot down where she finds every single color, what price they have so on the way back we can make sure she gets the whole set. This place may seem innocent but... They, I wouldn't bring your kids here guys. <laughs> Mayu says that this is a girl that is cursed because she's too pretty or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> we're literally in there for over an hour. Just two floors. A lot of figurines jam-packed. I do see that a lot of the stores there open, however, after 4.30. So, it's better for you to come later in the evening if you want to see all the stores open. Something that I <laughs> really enjoyed is seeing all these happy faces <laughs> amongst girls' men, right? <laughs> and it's not just 
men, they're like really pretty girls. Like you will never see super cute girls in America in areas like that, but didn't get videos of that because I feel guilty taking videos in there of the people because I feel like I'm capturing them in their compromised moment. I don't know, it's just, it's just to me, I feel like I'm, I'm capturing people's faces in the middle of having an orgasm. That's <laughs> Why you? <laughs> Are you happy as I am? <laughs> Actually, I, I was the one that had to get her out. I said, I'm just too tired from standing up. And she's like, you're not strong enough to be an otaku. <laughs> All right, guys, we're at Sino Center, the next otaku place. You'll know by this giant S there. Nowhere else does it say Sino Center in English, but you can't miss it because they're usually gonna have tons of dorky signages like that out there and you can see this escalator with a bunch of people heading up there any dork with a dork radar is not gonna be able to miss it okay so this place is a bit more open seems like there's a lot more variety like we never seen music stores there but that looks like Japanese music you have like mobile phone cases some more general stuff <gasps> video game stuff. I don't really feel as much of a geek out here, but... Oh, look at this. But yeah, if you're, if you're into video games, this is where you want to come. Although, I found that the prices for PlayStation stuff isn't any particularly cheaper than Thailand. I've already done that part price uh, comparison the last time I came here, so I'm not gonna try to find PlayStation games or whatnot because I found that video games aren't necessarily that much cheaper out here, which wasn't always the case because I remember when I was young, my father used to come to Hong Kong to get video games because this was the place you come to find the cheapest video games. Why is calling me over there? I'm gonna go over there and check it out. My, my scene more figurines. <laughs> she wants to check it out. But look, this is so cool. That Pikachu, the Deadpool one. Oh, I really like that one. What's up? Oh my gosh. Okay, the second floor, more video game spots. I would say a majority of the spots here are video game spots. They do have a few figurine and miscellaneous stuff in between here but mostly video games I almost feel like I'm at Fortune Town back in Thailand although this place has a bit more of a otaku feel to it because everything is so cramped so many people are everywhere <laughs> And you definitely don't get stuff like this. <laughs> Love it. Love it. Oh, I like that. That one's really cool. Oh, more figurines. <gasps> more figurines. Uh, I'm just gonna have to look at it. I can't buy them. Oh, I'm not supposed to. More video games. I never really got why people are shopping around so much for them. I imagine it's just for like the old video games because maybe the used ones have slight variations in prices but last time I came here as far as all the new games the ones that everybody wants they're all pretty much the same price we're on the third most floor I think my favorite floor because it has a ton of variety up here uh, first off the bat we noticed how the shelves are bending because that's years of heavy figurines warping everything. And then uh, Mayu noticed that there is a age restricted store right there. Yeah, and uh, liquor shop. Wow, they have more figurines, flowers, camera bags, and random bags in general. And more figurines. My age from this. Speaker shop. Wow, look at this. The manly man shop. I love it. Oh. <laughs> All I'm noticing is cleavage right there. I don't know. Oh, okay, it's a magazine shop. And manga shop. Oh, wow, look at that. These are collector's comics. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> okay. And then you got the Japanese pretty girls. Love it. Mayu, what's your favorite floor so far? Second floor? Yes, because Mayu is looking for 
doing the cars. Can't like help but notice all the pretty girl posters out here. Oh, I love these movies. These are classic Chinese movies. This is Chinese. Yeah, I like this shop. I, I can't understand anything that's written here, but they just seem really, really cool. Mayu, can you explain to me what these are? The cars. They look like playing cards, but with girls. Just, they have different, different design. Uh -huh. and you don't know I mean, they're, they're like right it. next to Pokemon and other kinds of cards. No, these are like different design. <laughs> yeah. And then you don't know until you open it. And you have, you want to collect. If you're a fan, you want to collect all of the cards. Is it? Is it like Pokemon cards though? You can like. My girl's breast size trumps yours kind of card? No, no, those are not, not gonna fight. They're not gonna just fight. Enjoy yourself. You just look at it and enjoy yourself. <laughs> these are what, what are these? Card. These are fighting cards. They're basically, I guess they, these are just regular playing cards, like aces, jacks and such, but with pretty girls in them. Look at this, this must be from like the 80s. This, this what is the 90s. heck? 90s? It's just a 90s idol. 90s idol. It looks sort of faded though, I hope it's not that faded when I open up the package. So if I had to sum it up, if you are out to actually get a good deal on figurines and totally dork out, then I think Inn's Point is better because I see that the prices are slightly cheaper over there. But <laughs> over here there's just a, a lot more of a variety of stuff. <laughs> I would have to say my hentai senses are tingling. Uh, obviously, I can't show you everything here because it's sort of uh, rated R, <laughs> but uh, I'm super enjoying uh, <laughs> all the unique stuff out here. Uh, I'm just gonna sort of leave it for you guys to come out here and check it out. <laughs> come to third floor. If you have kids, leave them at home. <laughs> Alright, now that we geeked out on figurines and otaku stuff, we're gonna go ahead and geek out on some camera gear at SimCity, just a couple hundred meters down the street, further to the right. The entrance, you actually have to turn a bit right from that big intersection. You'll see SimCity right there. Come into where Welcome Market is. Alright guys, I gotta say, just on this first floor alone, I see more used cameras, used lenses, camera equipment than all of Taiwan and Taipei that I searched for. Most of the stuff, however, is uh, pretty standard stuff you would imagine at any consumer electronics plaza. For, ooh, oh my gosh, look at that, all, all these Sony lenses. <laughs> I'm gonna check it out, babe. Sorry, hold up. Guys, I don't know about video games out here because they were pretty expensive the last time I checked it out, but the camera prices are legit. I mean, I just checked out some gimbal prices, uh, like the Zion Rebuild, the new one that's come out, is about $50 cheaper than Amazon. I just checked out a, a Zeiss Bodice 40mm that I was interested in getting. It's $200 cheaper than Amazon and there's no taxes out here so if you buy it in the States and you're shipping it to California for example for me where they have ridiculous taxes that's like an additional 10% on top of those already high prices. Guys, there's just so much stuff here. I don't even know where to start. It's somewhat overwhelming for a camera geek like me. Now it's just sort of a matter of finding a deal that I cannot pass up. I just didn't come prepared to spend money on anything or buy anything in particular, so I'm just trying to convince myself not to buy anything right now. But uh, yeah. Oh my god, what is this? What? Look at that lady. I was like, what is this lady doing there? Alright guys, nobody's in the shop. We're gonna sneak a peek. <laughs> they got this kind of stuff everywhere. I also checked out the prices for the DJI drones. Like as far as the Mavic 2 Zoom, it's almost $200 cheaper than America. And, and again, there's no taxes out here. My, my is trying to point out, oh my gosh, that's so cool. That's so huge. I saw that at the Overwatch tournament. 
Yeah. I'm gonna wrap it up here because I know most of you aren't interested in cameras, but if you are, SimCity blows every other place I've been to away as far as price, selection, just how well organized they are, how friendly and knowledgeable the staff are. I can't rave about this place anymore. America's got some really nice stores for you to purchase brand new stuff from, but it, it, it's cheaper out here, guys. <laughs> There's all these used cameras, like everything. If you want like vintage Nikon cameras, Canon, Minolta, whatever, you name it, they have it. Tons of Leica stuff. And the prices are really, really competitive. The selection's good. The, the condition of the lenses and everything, it's really good too. Honestly, the only place that I think can maybe match this place or is better would be Japan. But I would be hard pressed to find a location that's gonna have all of it in just one single plaza like here. I, I it's gonna be hard to top it anywhere else. This is a photographer's heaven. Oh, I'm gonna get out of here otherwise I'm really really gonna spend money I, which I can't afford. Ah! So we're back on the main street again heading north because Mai wants to see if they have the Tomica cars available at regular retail prices. By the way, because it's really hard to cross the street over there since it's a really busy street, we're gonna just go under through this MTR station, the Mongkok station, to the other side. All right guys, look at it. Right after we exit the MTR station over there, to cross the street, so busy and hectic, I completely lost Mayu, just found her. Uh, we're gonna have to make a left and then walk right. Uh, because there's this giant mall in front of us that we had no idea was located here. But if you guys want to check out the malls, this is where <laughs> all the, you know, high-end expensive stuff is. We actually hit a dead end. There's this unpassable big road and a highway overpass there. Uh, <laughs> my you was looking at Google and it looks like it's a Toys R Us Express which is like a smaller Toys R Us so we've decided to cut our losses and just head back that sort of pretty much wraps up the day I was heading back to Inns Point and taking some time lapses of this amazing city but whatever the case right now I'm walking through Ladies Market which is actually pretty much parallel to geeky figurine places and camera area called Sim City. And we looked through this area extensively the last time we came here. I really don't see anything different happening. So a lot of people come to Mong Kok and they just focus on this ladies market. Actually, this, this is pretty cool though, I gotta say. <laughs> so, Cosplay. That's pretty much about the coolest thing I've seen here. But everything else is just sort of a knockoff, like cheaper version of everything else you see in real stores where the locals go. So I would say that this is pretty much the Kaosan Road of Hong Kong. If you want to get touristy souvenirs, I say go for it. But particularly around this area, I found that even the food, it might seem local, but it's not that much more local and it's the most expensive I've, I've seen around here. I mean, Hong Kong in general isn't cheap, but dishes over here will cost around 90 Hong Kong dollars, whereas in the other areas that we went to, which is even more modern and gentrified, it was costing us about 70. And that's why when we got hungry, the best place we found was actually a chain from Taiwan. These foods aren't bad, but I really do recommend that you check out some of the other more local areas as well and, and don't only come here. I, I think it's a bit overhyped. I was actually going to do a walking video of this area, but... <laughs> I, I, I really don't think I can add that much more value. I think you, you know what to expect from an area like this. It's a touristy area full of tourists, street food, and uh, souvenirs. You smell stinky. Whatever the case, uh, Mayu? Please like our video uh -huh. and give us a comment and then subscribe. And you will see <laughs> oh, more video clip next week for more vlog about living in Germany. Yeah. <laughs> Ha ha ha.
<laughs> We're uh, 15 minutes late to Inns Point, but there are still some spots that are open. <laughs> he was literally closing up, and then uh, Mayu asked nicely, and she's gonna be able to get these Tomica taxis and buses. Definitely come here before 10 o'clock. I imagine they start wrapping up even around 9, so probably a good idea to come here sooner than later because dorks sleep early <laughs> they're good kids wow oh, there's this place this place is really happening well the positive is that there isn't a security guard here to uh, tell me I shouldn't be recording so I'll go ahead and give you guys a little walkthrough of this place just aisles and aisles full of figurine shops and just imagine when it's open they have all of this coming out of the stores like that and being displayed which is amazingly crowded and dense and full of people well, like plastic but to provide oh, yeah. why you show us what you got oh my gosh you, there was actually a bunch of them. So she got the really old school vintage one. Uh, they definitely don't make these anymore. It looks like different packaging. And then she got these. Why don't you just get a bunch, baby? It looks like you can sell it on your used uh, Japanese uh, Craigslist kind of thing for more money. I can. Because these, she got them for about $7 and they're selling for about $20, $30 back there. Yeah, this one particularly, it's nine dollars, but how much did you say it was? It was like fifty bucks or something? Eighty dollars? You should just buy all of them. You can come back to get the girl. Okay, okay. Then I will I will check the marketplace. If you think I can make it. If you think you can make profit, yeah. Alright, Mayu's happy. She's never gonna regret not having picked this up. Although I'm sure she still regrets not having picked it up last time when they had the red one available. Thanks again guys for checking out this video. If this is your first time, be sure to check out our channel for more vlogs released Saturdays and our longer discussion and walking videos released Wednesdays. I've color-coded our main vlogs with the black sidebars as opposed to our longer form discussion or walking videos with pink or no sidebars for your convenience. Be sure to also check out our Facebook and Instagram pages to keep up to date and communicate with us. And remember, we also have our second channel, Traveling Asia, that's dedicated to our international travel as well.